Well, I actually got the car business um, on a very unique thought process. Back in 1984, I hated to take my car to a service department. That preconceived notion was really a solid part of what we got into the business for, was to be somebody positive uh, for the consumer. What I like most about uh, what I do in my job is we get to help other people succeed. We get to help people buy their car, have a great time doing it, find the vehicle they want. Uh, we get to help a dealer treat their customers better, uh, be more profitable, keep those customers longer. With almost 270 employees and 300 representatives around the country offering different benefits of ours, uh, we're touching people's lives there. And it enables us as an organization to not only do our business, but to help our community. That is what really makes it fun to do what we do. At EasyCare, we believe that, that you can't ask more out of a relationship than the time and effort that you put into it. For us at EasyCare, it means going to the dealers that we want to work with and the ones that we do work with and making sure we're delivering more than was asked for, make sure that we're giving more than we ask. If you do that with the thought in mind of helping somebody else succeed, then almost inevitably, it all comes back to you. I love the connection that the car business is to pretty much everybody. It's such a connection to everything we do in life. You are attached to your car. It's something that gets you to work, it's something that gets you home, it's something that takes your family on vacation, and um, it becomes one of those pieces that just is really important in your life. What I love about what we do here at Easy Care is that we're able to help somebody know they can drive their car with confidence. They know they can drive the car, enjoy their ownership experience without the concerns of those things that pop up that we don't expect that might bust a budget or create a real problem somewhere down the line. I think the industry has a great opportunity to grow over the next three, four, five years. We just have to respond to what the consumer wants. I see the best dealers in the industry focusing outwardly on their customer really literally changing the experience the customer has at their dealership so that when the consumer comes in, what they might have feared or thought they were going to see ends up being something that they really enjoy. That's going to be the difference. Consumers have to pick a dealer that they're comfortable with. And what's changed is that with the ability to communicate with our customers and the online reviews, all of the things that a consumer can find out about a dealer, we all have to be better now. And we are. We have great people who own these dealerships, great people working in the dealerships, but in the vast majority of car dealerships, you have people who care about their customers, taking better care of them, and really working hard to make sure the experience is good. I'm Larry Dorfman, and I love the car business. My calling is to try to find ways to make a difference. Uh, that's why we do what we do. There are some preconceived notions that car dealers are one way. And, and process, which started in 1947. Uh, we're a best practices operation. And, and when he went to pick it up, it was a 1968 Chevy Turquoise. And the salespeople 